in this, in this session uh, we will learn how we can create simple uh, short animation by using a uh, an app that is stop motion studio app so in previous session you have learned about what is animation you will get uh, you got the uh, basic idea about what is the animation and how animation is important in education and how we can you we can create animation so you uh, you got the idea basic idea about the animation and different types of animation and what is the prerequisites of the uh, to make the any, um, animation movie so in this session we will see how we can create simple animation stop motion animation stop motion animation is a one of the type of animation so how we, how uh, we can create simple animation by using an app so i'm sharing my screen and i hope my screen is visible to all so First of all, we need to understand what is the stop motion animation. So stop motion animation is a technique, is a type of technique by which object can be moved automatically. In this animation, some pictures are drawn or when we click pictures, photos in a different position, when these images are played in a sequence, a movement appear in it uh, when a movement appear in it that's called a stop motion animation so in a simple word when we click photographs and we arrange photograph in a particular sequence in which we want to create an film in this particular sequence we want to create a film and we arrange these photographs in that sequence and we move uh, and we move uh, and we play that particular sequence, we perceive a motion that is called stop motion animation. But in real situation, that pictures not moving, that are the still pictures, but these, see, uh, these, uh, that, uh, that play uh, is uh, create a illusion of motion. That's why we saw that are moving. So this is the stop motion animation. So what is the different types of stop motion animation? So here you can see a various types of stop motion animation. First is object motion. When we use any object to create animation, that is stop motion animation. Second is clay motion. When we use clay and when we create any puppet by using clay and we create animation uh, from the clay so that is clay motion animation cut out when we use any uh, paper uh, to use uh, to create any animation so that is cut out motion animation we call 2d uh, <coughs> material animation also and uh, last one is puppet animation when we use any puppet any toy to create animation that is puppet animation so here you can see these are the some free and open uh, resources tools by which we can create any animation so in today's session we will uh, we will learn stop motion animation studio stop motion studio app so you can see this is the logo of stop motion studio app and <clears throat> Now, what material required? If you want to create an animation, so what material is required? First, smartphone, because this is the mobile-based app. So you need a smartphone. This is the Android. This is the compatible with Android and iOS both version. So you need a smartphone. Although this is a, a window version is also available, but we need to click a photograph. So we need, this is the... Uh, so you need a smartphone, it will give you a better experience. 
you cannot click any photographs by using desktop or laptop it is difficult for us so uh, we will require a smartphone and second is storyline so the storyline is very important in the previous session you also you uh, you got the idea about the importance of the storyline and storyboard so we need a storyline also we uh, we uh, we we have to find out where we need in which uh, concept we need to create animation which concept is uh, uh, which con uh, in in which concept we we need to create animation and which concept we easily explain by using this such kind of media so you uh, you you, uh, you need a complete storyline topic concept in which uh, you want to create animation and third one is storyboard yes storyboard is very important to create any um, video <coughs> any multimedia <coughs> resource so you need a storyboard so a storyboard basically is a graphical representation of the story so you create frame by frame every uh, um, you create a sequence by frame and you uh, you shoot every frame according based on the storyboard so this is the graphical representation of your uh, movie of your animation and the importance that you can minimize the error because you know what is the next sequence of your video you already uh, you already created your uh, your video on a paper we can create a story board digitally or you can create by using paper and pen so uh, these are three pre prerequisite requirement to create uh, animation by using this app so <clears throat> this is the example of a storyboard this is the very basic uh, storyboard uh, you can see every frame is already uh, decided and this is the uh, you can see the frame one and the story and this is the frame two. So you can see complete story is uh, already drawn on the paper. So you you will get the complete idea how your movie will come. How will you, uh, how and, and what frame you will shoot. And or you also know the sequence of your movie. So this is the example of uh, storyboard. Now, these steps, how you can download or how you can create it. So, this is the uh, Stop Motion Studio logo. You just type in your Play Store and the App Store, Stop Motion Studio. You will get this uh, app. Just download it and open it. So once you download it and open it in your phone, so you will uh, when you click on the icon that uh, app icon, you will get this screen. So this screen is dashboard. We called it dashboard. So now you want to create a animation. What you will do? You will click on this plus icon. This icon is new movie icon. When you click on this. Uh, Ma'am, yes, there is a response in the chat box. They want time to download the app. Okay, okay. Please give them time. Okay. So we'll wait for a one or two minute. You just. Uh, Type stop motion studio uh, in app store. So you can directly download from the app store. Someone is asking for the link. So you can just type the stop motion studio name in play store or app store. Yes, yes. This I already mentioned this is the mobile based app. So please download this app in mobile. 
here is a one question how to download in desktop so please download it in on your mobile phone i guess uh, they will download i i'm uh, continue with my session okay diksha yes ma'am okay <clears throat> so when you click on a new movie icon you will get this screen here you can see <clears throat> some icons are given four icons in right hand side and four icon in my left hand side so what these icons are so first is uh, you can see the first icon on the right hand side top my right hand side top that is camera icon this is the capture you will click uh, photographs by using this button camera button and the second is undo button and the third is play button when you uh, click all the pictures so by clicking on this play button you will see the your uh, you will play your video and uh, on left hand side top left hand side you can see the arrow button this is the back button by clicking on this you will uh, you will go back to the your dashboard and this is the voice over second icon is voice over so by using this button you will uh, you will record your voice story narration anything in your device in your uh, in your app in your device and you can sync this audio narration whatever you are recording with your video so by using this button you can uh, um, record voice over and you can sync this voice over with your video and the third button you can see the plus icon sorry and the third icon you can see this is the plus icon so by using this icon by using this button you can add external images what is this external images so if you want to add any image from your device for example if there is some image in your phone gallery and you want to add that image in your video so by using this button you can add uh, image directly from your gallery and you can add external audio so external audio means if you have any audio any music in your phone device so you can directly add that audio or um, that or audio and music with your video and it if you want to give any credit slide any title slide yeah any subtitle so you can add this uh, these credit slide or um, title slide by using this button but there is more important information these feature yeah, adding external images external audio and uh, adding credits and uh, title slide these features are not available with the free version this these features are available only premium version which is paid so we cannot use these features in free version so if you want to add any audio so you have to record your voice over uh, from the uh, from the app and you can you can uh, you can add recorded uh, voice over recorded uh, narration with your video but you cannot add any external audio with the video so the last you icon is setting icon so <clears throat> by using this icon you can add the speed of the video if you want to uh, you can speed of the video you can fast it you can slow it it or by use uh, and there is some feature of fade in fade out you can set the aspect ratio also and you can set the foreground background also and the movie quality also we will see um, we we have a demo also so we will see how we can use how we can set it so these are the um, description of these uh, icons now i am clicking on camera icon so what feature uh, will appear you can see when you click on camera you can see the back button so this is the back button this is the timer you can set if you want to click multiple you you want to click photographs so you can set a timer also 
so by setting this time yeah, all pictures will click automatically so you can set the timer for clicking the photographs and uh, this button is uh, capture button so by clicking on this you can uh, capture the photograph and again this is the play button you can play it and this is the these bars so what is these bars when you click on these bars you will get these options this is the <clears throat> so this is the size you can set uh, so you can see this is the brightness this is the zoom you can zoom in zoom out you can set the size font size and this is the uh, rotation you can rotate the movie so these all are option you will get when you click on this that bars so now <clears throat> when you click on timer you will get the seconds you can set the timer for clicking photographs sorry sorry um, so on that bottom you can see i missed to explain what is this icon so this is the timeline when you click photographs all photograph photographs will appear at the bottom that is this is called timeline so what is the importance of timeline because if you uh, you have clicked all photographs if you want to edit any particular frame so you can edit any frame uh, particular frame uh, in the timelines that is a very important so i will show you so here uh, you can see i have clicked photograph for this this story the thrusty crow so you can see here you can see 1 by 37 that means i have clicked 37 photographs to create this story and you can see all frames are appear at the bottom these are um, in the timeline you can see 5 by 37 fifth frame now you can see the 20th frame and now i want to edit this frame so how, what we will do we will click on particular frame in which we want to edit anything when you click on uh, any frame you will get this pop up here you can see some editing options are given first insert camera if you want to insert any you want to add any frame uh, after this 20th frame so you can just insert camera you just click on insert camera and you can uh, click another next new frame next to the uh, voice not audible is it so my voice is not audible uh, diksha my voice is audible yes ma'am it is audible okay okay yeah so you can add any new frame after this frame so by using this option you can add any frame in between any frame in between so um, second option is select so uh, this is the select feature you can select any frame you can cut it copy it this is the cut you can cut any frame you can paste wherever you want to add it and you can delete it this is the copy feature you can copy any frame and make a duplicate uh, frame also here you can see a pause button so why this pause button is important now you want to uh, you want that particular frame that 20th frame will stay longer on the screen on in in the movie so you can uh, you can uh, just choose uh, just select this frame and you can set the time pause time that particular frame for example i have set 10 second pause that particular frame so this particular frame will stay on the screen will remain on the screen for the 10 second so if you want if you add for example if you write any text message text information that frame and if you want that particular frame will stay on the screen for longer time so you can apply pause feature in it 
and um, by applying this, you, this particular uh, frame will stay on the screen for 10 seconds. So you can pause any frame it. And the second, I mean, third, that option, next option is audio. So this, uh, by using this feature, you can add any external audio um, with this, uh, any, you can sync any, you can embed any external audio music with your uh, movie, with your video, with your animation. But again, uh, this feature is not available with the free version. But why this, um, this uh, feature is important? Because I have already told you, we can record our voiceover to, um, uh, to embed with this video. So if you want to delete your voiceover, so uh, when you, if you want to delete your recorded voiceover, so just click on, uh, select that frame and just click on audio button by use um, so you 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 just delete your recorded um, uh, recorded video okay so you just delete your recorded video from this uh, recorded audio from this video so this is the audio feature and edit uh, edit erase merge and reverse these features we cannot use in free version so for you, uh, if you want to use these feature, you have to uh, you have to pay some amount and you have to take a premium version. So we cannot use these four feature in free version. And this is the delete feature. You can delete any frame from the timeline. So when you uh, if you want to record, when you click on the this uh, audio uh, icon, when you click on this, you can see the record button. Just click on it. You can just record it and you can preview it. Just play it and you can click on done. The, the voice, your voiceover will record and it will sync with your video. So uh, this is the last feature that is setting. You, when you click on that setting icon, you will get these features. You can see it. First is timer. You can set your time limit of your movie. You can see when you set one, uh, one, uh, one second, your movie will be slower. When you increase the second, your movie will become a faster. So if you want to... Um, um, if you want your movies, if you set your uh, time limit at one, so your movie will be slow. And if you increase the second, your movie will be faster. So second icon is, you can see fade icon. You can fade, you can apply fade in, fade out option. And this icon is, third one icon is ratio, aspect ratio icon. You can use it and set the aspect ratio of your frame. Sorry. And uh, this icon is, next icon is foreground. So you can set the foreground and uh, this is the filter. You can add a filter also on your movie. And this is the quality. So you can, <clears throat> so you can uh, create your movie in HD quality. And this is the playback button. So these all features uh, you can use in setting. So by using you can see the uh, play button. So if you your editing is done, you can preview it by using this play button. Now your movie is completed and all editing has been done. So by using this back button, you can go back to the dashboard. Here you can see your movies appearing on the dashboard. Yeah. So now up. We will take questions at the end. You can post your query. We will take at the end. 
so you can see your uh, project is uh, appearing on the dashboard now you want to share your project this just you just long press it that particular project you can see some options are appearing at the top in blue bar the first icon is preview icon you can preview it second icon is sharing icon so we will see in how many uh, from formats we can share our project and the third icon you can see the copy icon you can just make a duplicate copy of your project what is the benefit of this uh, icon this feature so if you want to create your project in a multiple language, if you want to create this same movie in English, in Hindi or in your regional language, so what you will do, you, you just uh, record, re-record, you just record your voiceover in a different language and you can sync uh, your voiceover this particular video. So you can make a multiple copy and you can, uh, uh, you can create a program in a different language. So this is the benefit of this feature and uh, you can rename it by clicking right button. You can rename it and this is the delete feature. You can delete it. So up we will see in which format we can share our project. You can see when you click on that share button, you can see the period various formats are appearing. First, you can export your uh, program in a video format that is mp4 so we can download our project our uh, movie in a mp4 format which is a very uh, which is compatible to the all devices so we can download video in a mp4 format second is animation we, uh, gif we can animate it gif we can download it in gif format and third is image format. So we can download our, our program in an image format. And the fourth one is flipbook. So we can download, flipbook is a PDF format. So we can download our project in a PDF format also. And that project, project is the uh, is a extension of uh, uh, this app. So we can, um, we can uh, download these uh, this program in four format which is compatible to all devices all mobiles so now <clears throat> i have i want to share this video so when you click on export movie i have clicked on export movie so when you click on export movie you will get these options you can directly share through whatsapp facebook gmail any any um, any channel any and you can directly download it in your phone gallery here you can see the save video option so by clicking on it you can directly download this particular video in your phone gallery and you can share it from your mobile phone so this Yeah, so directly you can download it from uh, in your device, in your mobile phone.
so i'm showing you a uh, i'm showing you is an an example ha kya hua kya main alo kya nahi hai mujhe nahi pata mera session chal raha hai showing you an example of a stop motion animation i'm just stop in my sharing wait a minute this is the paper cut out uh, animation and this is the example of uh, stop motion animation i hope you eat samuh mein aadi manav lekar baithe the kuch patthar ho ho ha ho ha कुछ चपटे कुछ थे नुकीले कुछ जैसे हो मोटी कीले कुछ कुदाल कुछ भाले जैसे कुछ मीठे चाकू से था पत्थर से पत्थर को मार बना रहे थे वो हथियार example of stop motion animation although this is created in a studio this not uh, this uh, created by this stop motion studio app but this is the example or for this video this is the 2 uh, minute 36 seconds duration video we have clipped more than 1000 pictures for this video so this is the example of stop motion studio uh, sorry stop motion animation now i will show uh, i will uh, show you a demo so how we can create stop motion animation by using that uh, app stop motion studio Today we will create the stop motion.
Today we will create stop motion uh, animation for the famous story The Thirsty Crow. We must have heard about it. So we will create stop motion animation for this story and we will create this story by using different cutouts. We can create a story by using uh, uh, puppet, puppets, clay. But today we will create uh, this story stop motion animation uh, by using uh, cutouts and uh, here uh, you can see uh, this is the background image background uh, we will use this background for creation of stop motion animation and here you can see some cutouts like a crow and a uh, water jug pebbles and when a water jug with pebbles so we can we will use uh, this uh, these cutouts for creating our animation so we will uh, capture frame uh, based on the storyboards as we discussed earlier we have created a storyboard for this story and we have created a each of frame and we cre uh, we captured these uh, frames uh, these uh, these frames so as discussed here uh, eight icons are given you can see on the right hand side top icon is camera so we will capture uh, this frame by using this uh, this icon so i i'm tap on uh, i'm clicking on this now you can see a red button we can uh, click uh, we can capture a frame by clicking on the red button so i am clicking on it so this is our first frame now now i am clicking my second frame where the crow is here and click on the red button I will move the position of the crow I will move the position of the crow and I will click the frame again move the crow and click the frame again moving the crow and click the frame again same procedure will do again the close frame I will clicking so Now we can see the crow not able to drink a water because the water level of the jug is very low. So he, now he, uh, he can see some pebbles here. So we will uh, rotate the position of the crow and click and we will click some clicks on that frame. We will move it on down. Now, as we can see, Crow picked up the pebble and now he moving towards the water jug and we will capture this frame
we will capture each frame of this process now again we repeat the entire process and will capture every moment we will capture each and every detail now we can see after putting pebbles in the water jug now crow is able to drink water and he is drinking water we will capture this moment this frame and we will click all the frames so we have clicked all possible frames for this story now we will see how many frames we have clicked you can see at the bottom of right hand side uh, 69 frames so 69 frames are clicked for this story now i am clicking on the back button and at the end of the uh, screen we can see the timeline of this uh, story and we can see the every frame of this story so as we are explained earlier we can edit and we can add our voice in this story now we will edit our frames like edit my uh, frames timeline so here we can see on uh, six, uh, frame number 65 uh, the shadow is coming my hand shadow is coming so I want to delete this slide so what we can do we can do is uh, I will click on this frame and this uh, editing options are coming here we can see a delete option I will delete it and this frame will delete it so we can edit our timeline by using these edit option if now if I want to uh, copy my uh, duplicate my frame so I will click on copy button and paste it here so my uh, so the duplicate frame will be created and we will edit our timeline as we are required for now I am going to play this video by click on play button
so you can see the motion in the story in the frames if you realize that we can see the option of an insert camera we can click on this and retake the ana frame we can cut the frame we can copy this frame and we can delete this frame we can erase and edit also and merge and reverse jo uh, reverse i uh, feature will be available for the pro version of stop motion animation now if uh, we can set our uh, video speed by using uh, these options i am clicking on setting here we can see move uh, movie speed we can set the speed of our animation movie now i have set 5 seconds per frame we can set as per our requirement 3 second 4 second 5 second 10 second we can use this feature for speed adjustment we can uh, we can uh, adjust color contrast but uh, uh, this feature is available for the pro version and uh, we can use uh four grounds so these features these some features are available with the free version so we can use this feature for uh for our animation now if we if we want to add our voice with the animation we will use the voice icon now i am clicking on voice icon here we can see the record button on the screen by clicking on this we can record our voice and add with our animation so now i am going to record my voice i am clicking on the record icon here you can see the start recording one hot day thirsty crow flew all over the field looking for the water for a long time and suddenly he saw a water jug near the tree he flew down to the see the to see if there was any water inside and he could no he could see some water inside the jug he tried to push his neck into the jug but he could not do this because water level is very low then he saw some pebbles he started picking up and picking up pebbles one by one dropping each into the jug and water level kept rising he finally drink water and his plan had worked the moral of the story is think and hard work may find solution of any problem i'm going to stop this recording now you can see all over the field looking for the water for voice is coming with the video and we can add narration of a story with the animation if there was any water inside and he could not he could see some water inside the jug he tried to push his neck into now i am going to stop this play and click on done now i am going to play this animation with audio by clicking on play button one hot day trusty crow flew now you can see audio is coming with the video so you can create small animation with audio by using this stop motion animation app now we want to share our video with our friends and uh, in uh, with our students so uh, for this we will click on the back button here we can see the, uh, like right left hand side top 
icon is uh, back icon we will click on this icon here this is the dashboard and you can see uh, this is the movie we have created we will long press this icon uh, this icon movie icon so we can see the uh, various icon is appearing top of the screen first icon is preview icon if i am clicking on this we can see the preview of the uh, of our animation all over the field looking for the water for a long time and suddenly he now i am pausing this clicking on cross button so we can preview our video by clicking on preview button we can see the second icon of sharing by using this icon we can uh, export our video in various format uh, first is in uh, we can download uh, export our animation in the movie format we can export uh, as animated gif format we can export in images format we can export in flipbook format and we can export in project format so today we will uh, here we will export our animation in movie format i am clicking on this so after clicking on this there are many options are coming on the screen we can share our video via whatsapp facebook in, uh, instagram telegram gmail messenger twitter so we and here we can see the various option we can uh, use this option to share our video and we can save our video in phone uh, gel uh, in our phone also so we can um, by clicking on save video we can download this video in our phone gallery and we, um, phone gallery so we can share our video by using these icons third number icon is copy icon if you want to duplicate your movie you want to copy your uh, make a copy of uh, your movie so you can click on this icon and you can see the copy of duplicate copy of your movie so you can duplicate and make a copy of our video and fourth option is delete option we can delete multiple copies yeah so now now i'm going to delete this duplicate copy i'm clicking on this select on this and delete it i'm clicking on delete option so today we will create so this was the uh, demo of the uh, this app so um, how we can create a uh, small animation bite sized uh, bite sized animation by using this app so now you can create a small animation and you can show in this session also if you have any query uh, you can ask me you can post in the chat box i have seen many query also so uh, i am taking it so please uh, to add image app arts to play yes i have already mentioned you cannot add any external there is a feature to ex uh, to add external image but this is paid if you want to use free features so you have to click you cannot add any external image any external audio and any credit and title slide in free version i already mentioned in my session 
So you cannot add any external image. You have to click that image. And uh, audio icon is disabled. So you disable? No, no. You, you just click on that icon and uh, the record button will appear. I already showed you. Adding image as premium membership. Yes. I already mentioned. And uh, so, so if anyone want to share and want to show uh, that you have created while this session, you can show it, you can ask it. I just made one posted in WhatsApp. You can show here also. You can show here. Is uh, admin give the co uh, sharing right? So you can share uh, show here. So we all can see what you have created. So this is the basic uh, orientation of this software. You need to hands on it. You, if you create, so uh, yeah, you are sharing. Yeah, this is the um, yeah, this is the basic uh mm. office in two four three. Two four three some So yeah, this is the basic uh, animation. So you got the idea how you can create an animation. And you can create these types of animation in your subject area. You can pick a, some uh, topic like I have showed you, uh, Thirsty Crow Story. So you can pick any uh, topic. And I have already showed you a, a concept, uh, a animation on the concept of, on the concept of uh, uh, discovery of fire. So you can create such kinds of videos and you can create, you can pick a such kind of uh, topics and you can create simple animation by using this app. And uh, another question is how we can get free picture from the Google. Uh, I think there was a session on OER. Yes. And in a uh, very first day, you have a you had a session on OER and uh, OER and license OER courses. I I'm sure ki bataya gaya hoga from where you can get the free picture. So you can just free pick here. You just type a Creative Commons where you can get the uh, free pictures. Copy free pictures. You will get the copy free pick is another. A site where you can get the uh, copy free pictures. Is anyone who want to share a video? And you just explore this soft, uh, this app. This is a very simple app, and you just create small animation on. Is there any doubt? I'm sure I believe everyone is making <laughs> animation <laughs> right now. That's why you are very silent and you don't have any doubts. Everyone is busy it's making video. <laughs> so anyone else, else who want to share, who want to show? And is any any doubt
yeah this is a very simple app and uh, you can practice practice makes perfect can you please mention some other app ha i have show you in my presentation i will share my presentation so in which we have a complete list of uh, apps is anyone else who want to share we will share presentation in group also team will share uh, present all presentation in group you can share your uh, animation in group also if anyone want to share here also is a scratch also yes yes a scratch is also used for animation but scratch is quite uh, difficult i could say quite difficult this uh, app is very user friendly very simple app so scratch yes scratch is also used for animation we can add uh, captions also in dialogues also we can add dialogue in scratch if you want to i want to share one uh, important uh, integration information if you want to add any extensions uh, you are asking about uh, to in uh, to integrate additional and uh, external audio you want to if you want to add any external audio what you will do you just create video in stop motion animation and uh, yesterday you had a session on open shot i guess uh, open shot video editing tool so you just click you just record your video in stop motion animation in stop motion studio and just add it in op open shot any uh, open shot editor and you can in open shot you can add any external um audio music and whatever you want to add you can add any external audio in this video so how you can integrate these two sessions so this is up to you how you can leverage these training session and you have can how can you can use these learnings is anyone want to share want to show us your program so i guess there is no more doubts so uh, ms diksha i guess uh, yes ma'am uh, so we can move ahead yes ma'am if there is no doubt and i guess thank you for from my side yeah okay thank you ma'am thank you for the wonderful session on uh, stop motion animation i hope we all will try